So I'm watching a video um, with John Cristani, which is an entrepreneur, and he's on another YouTube, another YouTuber's uh, channel. Um, something coffee, coffee something. I don't know. He apparently exposes um, scams and Ponzi schemes and stuff like that, stuff of that nature which a lot of them that he does cover are scams, you know, that I've been able to see watching watching uh, some of the videos. But one thing he's not getting here <clears throat> is he's defending the college system and the educational system as an authentic source of education that will lead you to a successful path in life, I suppose, um, versus... The entrepreneur that advertises their course or their knowledge, experience, and experience and education that they've obtained themselves through trial and error, doing something different than college or university, like online sales, um, or gaining knowledge and developing yourself in a way that makes you an asset. Therefore, you hold value to people because they want to have the same results. And you have the results and you have the experience. Once you actually have the real results and the experience, you become that asset, you become that value. People will pay you for your knowledge because you are in a position that they would like to be in. So it, it, this coffee guy or whatever, his whole, his whole defense, his whole uh, issue is <clears throat> he feels like entrepreneurs are being deceitful and it's like a Ponzi scheme for them to say, hey, um, you know, this is my course with, you know, everything I know in it, you know, um, and it can help you to make $10,000 a month, maybe $100,000 a year, so on, so forth, etc. Right. So, <clears throat> which isn't, which isn't false, online sales <laughs> um, gives, if you were to master online sales and advertising on Facebook, YouTube, Google, and really put the work in and gain the experience through trial and, tri and, and tribulation, um, trial and error, you would have that, like, you would, you know what I mean, like, you've gained that, you know what I mean, like, call it, okay, so, College, university, right? They advertise that if you go to school, you'll become successful, you'll get a career. Why do we go to school? Why do we go to school? Just for the education? Or do we go to school for the education that they're selling us this dream that if we gain this education from their system, that we will have a career and have uh, a successful, prosperous life financially and whatever, right? <clears throat> That's why people go to school. We don't go to school because it's fun or just for the education, we gain, we try to go get, the school tells us we need to go to school to get the education in order to have a career, to have a living, to make money, to pay the rent, to be okay, okay? So colleges and universities do advertise themselves as, if you go to college, you'll be successful. If you don't go to high school, if you don't go to college, you'll be a dropout bum and you'll never amount to anything. That is basically what the system implies. So as a whole, the system and the educational system is actually fraudulent and it sells a dream, you know what I'm saying? Um, so people are just so used to the system being that entity that is selling that dream and it's been so far bought into that when somebody goes against the grain and doesn't go to college and becomes a millionaire, um, <laughs> you know, they're... Uh, they're looked at like a, like it's, you know, they're a scam artist or something like that, right? Um, so let me get to my point. Um, they're arguing, right? Like, basically trying to discredit, like, people that do online sales, like entrepreneurs, anything online is a scam now. Like, you know, and there's a lot of scams and there's a lot of corny people that are, you know, 
robbing people and extorting people and tricking people and shit, right? So it's it's hard, right? But the system has been doing that for hundreds of years, extorting their own people, uh, taxing on taxing on a taxing a tax transaction on top of it. Like, how many fucking times are you going to tax my transaction until you fucking completely extorted me? Like, it's psychotic, the world that we live in, and we've accepted it because we have to, <laughs> like, by force, but by will at the same time. Like, it's weird, This, you know what I mean? Like, it's the system's that big bully that tells you if you don't do things our way, then we're gonna, you're going to be fucked straight up. And the system kind of actually does that to you because when I was a taxpayer, I was working, everything was fine, you know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> when I became homeless and then I tried to get out from homelessness and work my way back up through the system... Uh, it really appeared that things were kind of in place and designed in a way that made it almost impossible for me to get back out of those circumstances. Kind of woke me up a little bit and, and I said, wow, so if you fall between the cracks in this system, in this world, you don't do, do things by the system, it not only will reject you, but it will also um, call you a bad example and also it will block you from being able to get back into it when you hit rock bottom and you're in a homeless shelter and you have no money and you can't get a job and you're trying to work your way up oh well you know you need experience to get a job here well how do i gain it let me gain the experience or you need references to rent this place okay so let me gain your references give me a chance sorry you you need references to get this so how are you ever going to get the place if you you need a starting point to get the references in the experience. But anyways, that's a whole nother story. The system has been one of the most corrupt forces to ever exist. The government, government, taxation, the educational system has been manipulated and has extorted people for hundreds of years um, and profited uh, from that. Um, just as the system profits from homelessness, addiction, and things of that nature, right? Um, <clears throat> if you're not aware of that, I am because I actually went through homelessness off and on since I was 14 years old. And I got to see the world in a different perspective. Um, and I wasn't someone that was doing drugs. You know what I mean? So um, you can't try to put that on me and act like, you know, um, I'm just like, you know, anyone that became homeless is a drug addict. I was not a drug addict. Um, but let me get back to my point. This brainwashing way of being, like, have you ever heard somebody say, I went to high school or I went to college and went to university and I became a millionaire. I, I have never heard that. Personally, I've never heard anybody say that. But I have he heard a lot of millionaires and even billionaires it openly admit that the educational system is, is a fraud. And the reason why they are a millionaire or billionaire is because they dropped out of high school. They didn't waste their time and put themselves into debt into an educational system that's only designed and built for you to serve somebody else to make them rich or to serve their system that they benefit from and profit off of you to leverage them. Uh, and then you end up going through college, end up in debt, and you can't even get a job with the, with the education that you received. This happens more common, commonly than um, the other way around. You don't hear anybody say, I went to high school and college and university and I became a millionaire. You hear a lot of people say, I dropped out of high school and I, I am now a successful entrepreneur or business owner or online salesperson and I am successful and I'm, I'm wealthy. Um, and I sell my knowledge and my experience in a course. So that's where that comes from. Do you understand that? Like, I don't know why I had, like, it's, I am literally, like, in my videos nowadays, like, I literally try and dumb down the way that I'm talking and trying to break it down to people that just don't have the intellectual capacity to comprehend what I'm saying, which is frustrating. I think it's actually making me, my mind a little bit weaker um, to try to dumb myself down to be able to fit um, the average person's standard of, of understanding. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm in John Cristani's uh, corner in this because I understand what he's saying. 
and he's not deceiving or manipulating. Um, as for refunds, they're talking about refunds at this point in time in the video that I'm watching. So <clears throat> when you go to college, right, you believe like, I'm going to take this course, this education, I'm going to get my education, I'm going to take this course, two, four years, five years, whatever it is. It's going to put me in debt, but you know what? I'm going to get a career out of it. And I'm going to be able to pay that debt off. I'm going to make money. I'm going to have a career. I'm going to get a job out of this. That is what is implied. It is the impression on everybody that has ever heard about college or education. And so we believe that if we go to school, that we will become successful, we'll gain a career. You go to college, you end up in debt. You can't even get a, you can't even get a job. There are no jobs. There's hardly any jobs uh, in that field, in pretty much all of the fields. Like, and nine out of 10 people end up moving back in with their parents. Well, guess what? I don't have parents, by the way, like where I can go move in with, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't have, I go to a homeless shelter. So point being is that you don't go to college and say, you take the course, you get out of college, you're so hyped. Yeah, I'm going to get a job now. You end up not getting a job. One month goes by, two months, you're applying for jobs. You're not getting replies. Um, there's competition, whatever it may be. It's very common to hear people that have gone to college and university and not ended up actually getting a job in the field that they, they were educated on. Um, but if that happens and they don't get a job and they don't make any money from going to college, they don't even get a career out of that, which happens more than it doesn't happen. Um, do you go to the college and say, well, I took your course. Um, it was in, you know, it was really, it, the impression was that if I went to college and I took this course in social services, that I would be able to get a job and a career and be able to pay this debt off. And I would, I'd be able to make money. It's about money. It's about being able to earn. It's about educating yourself in order to earn money so you can pay bills, rent and survive in this corrupt world that forces us to have to do that anyways. Um, which is all a trap, by the way. Um, and we've, you know, we've accepted it, right? And it's like, you know, being a willing slave. It's almost like being a willing slave. But that's a whole nother topic. But in this, in this scenario that the video I'm watching, I understand where John's coming from. I understand where, where Homeboy's coming from. There are a lot of um, deceitful things being advertised saying, oh, you know, Sign up and you're going to make $10,000 a month. You have to be very careful how you word that. And this also depends on the source. Some sources are obviously more credible than others. And some are hard to identify. But again, you know, there are people out there that didn't go to college, didn't go to university and became successful, wealthy people from doing their own shit. From figuring it out themselves. Right? And once you do figure something out and you do become successful, and you look at that like, wow, I how value would that be to the how 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 valuable would that be to the next person that's about to go inject themselves into college, put themselves into fifty thousand dollars worth of debt, and probably not even get a job after four years of slaving away to that educational system. That's actually programming you and developing you in a way to serve the system or serve somebody else in their establishment to build their business up while you get paid minimal. The system does not make you a millionaire. The, the educational system does not, it is not designed to make you a wealthy, successful, prosperous person. But it does tell you that. It does. Our understanding worldwide of education is that if we gain an education through the educational system colleges universities so on and so forth that we will end up having a career and making enough money to live a good life and that is our goal as a human being is to live a good quality life so we are taught and the the, the common understanding is that we need to go to college and we need to go to high school and we need to go to university and or else we will be we will not be successful we will not make money we will not have a career that is the impression <laughs> left by the system by
the educational system that told us so. So the greatest fraud and the biggest Ponzi scheme and the biggest pyramid scheme to ever exist was the government, was the system, was the educational system. It has been manipulated and formed into a way to build, to develop people to serve others that are trying to gain wealth. <clears throat> you're, you're programmed through school to, to benefit somebody else. You end up in debt. Nine times out of ten, you don't get the job that you just got educated for. All of a sudden, now you got to take another education and another certificate. And, the, and then you're, just, you're buying into the Ponzi scheme, the pyramid scheme. You know, I've, I've seen it a million times. People that go to high school, go to college, go to university. You know, they pass, they get their certificate, they get their diploma, they're all hyped up. And they end up moving back in their parents' house. We're homeless. And then they can't get back on their feet and break that momentum now that you're stuck on the bottom in the system now once you become homeless won't even give you an opportunity to get back through the cracks they actually it's like a mouse trap you know when a, tra a mouse goes into a trap and it's so easy to get in so easy to get yourself into debt and go to college because that's what the right thing to do it feels kind of normal right? it feels like yeah i should probably go in there and eat that piece of cheese It'd probably be good for me i'm kind of like you know i'm kind of hungry i should nourish my body and you do that and then you go to turn around and you realize that there's no way out. And you're like, how the hell did that happen? How did I end up in a situation like this? Because it really appeared that it was just an open port that I could just walk into and probably walk out. So you'd think that if you become homeless or you be fall through the cracks of society and civilization that that's okay, I hit rock bottom, I can just start over again and get a job and work and earn my way and get back up. You might have to sleep at a homeless shelter full of people that are going through mental illness and addiction and recovery that aren't sleeping and staying up all night and doing weird things that are keeping me up and now I can't work and I'm getting sick mentally, physically, and spiritually on a daily basis until I deteriorate and I can't work any longer. Um, yeah, it's, it's you really find out pretty quick that you're probably going to not be able to overcome homelessness. And if you buckle from that depression and reality, now that your new reality has blown a hole, <laughs> it just devastated you. Um, hopefully you're strong enough now to actually withstand the influences around you of these people that are on drugs or out drinking or smoking or doing whatever they're doing. Um, when you only wanted to get back on your feet and get established. This all links to the educational system, believe it or not. Yeah, The entire system is is intertwined in, in, into itself and you know it's it all works for itself like it's just designed to either chew you up and spit you out if you do not comply or it'll give you just enough crumbs to survive to pay your rent to keep you just happy enough to not bite the hand that feeds you and you might just be content with that for your entire life and not live in abundance but live in scarcity your entire life because of the system tells you that that's normal and that's what a working man should do hmm very strange um so yeah um you don't get a refund from college but they sell you the dream and you go and you end up in debt at least when you're buying somebody's knowledge or experience that clearly they have. John Cristani is, is, is a wealthy person. <laughs> like, he, he's, he's acknowledged, uh, you know, a lot. You know, for, you know, being one of those guru uh, entrepreneur guys, he's one of the very legitimate ones. Um, so I just, it's just kind of crazy to me that uh yeah so if you were to buy a course that is to educate you right from john cristani let's say he's selling a course of his knowledge clearly he's a millionaire he clearly has something some type of knowledge um that we don't have and college and university is probably not going to give that to you to make you a millionaire but they will make you a carpenter so you can work for somebody else and build their house some rich person or they will make you a doctor or uh, they will make you a teacher to serve their system. 
and pay you very little. Um, <clears throat> you know, but they won't allow you to become a millionaire because how would that benefit the system or the educational system? It really wouldn't because then you wouldn't need the system or the educational system. So that's probably, it's not a good idea for us to empower people in a way that would make them completely independent from the government and the system because that really wouldn't benefit the system, right? Hmm. Interesting. So, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, so why would you expect a refund from, from a course that you bought off someone that's actually successful, like an individual, not an entity, government, or educational system that hides behind a trademark and incorporation through a college or a university or something, um, but an actual individual that has gained success and wealth, you know, um, that's where the value is. And if I bought that person's course and I got that education and I, my brain, you know, I wasn't intelligent enough to use that education. Um, that, that part is on you. You know what I'm saying? Because you do have the, the, the knowledge and the education to earn big money when it comes to online sales or entrepreneurship or things of that nature. But with the college or high school university education, that education will not give you the tools necessary in order for you to become a millionaire in a year, two years, three years, five years. You'll never become a millionaire. It's very, very un highly unlikely that you're going to become a millionaire from going to college or university. College and university is not designed to, to give you the education to make you a millionaire. It educates you to be a part of the system, the jobs that the system gives to you, offers to you. Dentist, doctor, lawyer, you know, teacher. You're not going to get rich. You might, be, you might make good money as a lawyer. But I bet you John Crestani makes more than a lawyer. And I'm pretty sure that's probably why he has like four or five of them on his payroll. So I would much rather be the entrepreneur, um, online salesperson, than the lawyer that works for the system and has a limit cap on how much they can make. You can gain knowledge and experience that can open up the potential to make millions of dollars in months if you utilize that education and that knowledge correctly. But the education and knowledge that you may acquire from a college university is probably not going to leverage you to that extent where you're going to be able to make millions of dollars from it. So, in the end of the day, John Cristani is right in this case. And it just reminded me of that entire thing that we just went through right now. And it kind of hit me. And I was like, wow. People are proud to be extorted by the system. People are proud to be a part of something that benefits more from them than they do from it. But the system is so clever and it's built in such a way and it's unraveled over hundreds of years in a way that we've learned to accept and think that we actually are benefiting. So we defend it because we're benefiting. The system is good for us. Why would we, why would we go against it? You know? They take our tax dollars and they do good things with it, right? So why would we ever go against the government or the system or... The educational system has never steered us, you know, steered us wrong, right? Well, we might have to look at history to confirm that. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, all you gotta do really do is hit that consciousness point, and then you can actually have this frequency that I'm on right now of consciousness and understanding, and you can get to see the bigger picture. It's crazy. But the people that talk like me, that expose the truth, 
they're the crazy guy, right? They're the scam artists, or what would you call it? I, I don't even know. But anyway, so yeah, you're not. You know what? You you shouldn't. You know, if you're not gonna get a refund from going to college, getting an education, and then you don't get the money, you don't make no money, you don't get the job. It doesn't work out for you. So now I go back to the college and say, yo, I did every, like, I took the course. I didn't make, I didn't make a million. I didn't get a career. I didn't, I didn't make a million dollars. I need a refund for my whole college degree, tuition, because it didn't work. So, yeah, that was false advertising. I don't know why you guys made me think that if I go to college, get a degree, that I'm going to have a career or a job, because that didn't happen. And it really doesn't really happen like that anymore <clears throat> it's a little bit more complicated than that so their argument <laughs> the system is the biggest scam ponzi scheme pyramid scheme ever educational system pretty much any type of system and they're all connected the law the government the educational system the tax all of those entities are connected but an individual that decides to not go through that outlet, educates themselves on, you know, educates themselves through an online course, through someone that has found success in online sales and made a lot of money, then they became successful, then they made a course, and they sold it. A lot of people took the course and actually took action, used the education to generate, you know, six, seven figures online through online sales because... The majority of the world's population are consumers. Consumer is huge, right? How many people buy off of Amazon? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, right? Well, guess what? <clears throat> you can go on Amazon, click under the product that you want to buy, and you can now sell that product on Amazon and be an affiliate. You can just take that same product and create an ad on Amazon, even if you don't even have the product, and you can make money and sell that product, even though you don't even hold it. It's called drop shipping. <sighs> I'm not even gonna go into that. You know, if you want to go educate yourself, you can. But just some thoughts on that. It's kind of late. Kind of tired right now. I was just watching this video, and it kind of just blew my mind. <laughs> I'm just like, man, this is crazy. People are uh, just really completely gone, brainwashed, you know. But I can see, I can see what's going on, man. And it's not good. Trust in yourself, man. You know what I mean? Believe in yourself. You know, follow your passions. Chase your dreams, your goals. Don't go chase a college degree. A university, unless, you know, unless you know for sure. Well, there is really no knowing for sure. That's what I'm trying to say. You're better off betting on yourself and educating yourself and, and acquiring knowledge and information and, and through experience, trying shit. You got to fucking go and do shit. You got to go try shit. You can't expect uh, the school to give you the education to make you a millionaire. It's not going to fucking happen. But, you know, you can go and look at these millionaires, some of them. Not all of them. And you might get some of the, you know, some of their knowledge and information out of them through a course that you buy. And you might use that and it, and it might work for you. Or you might not really apply the information or the knowledge correctly and you might not get the result. And then you might go back to the person and say, no, I want a refund on your course. Because it didn't work for me. Well, that makes sense. Well, why don't you go to college, go in debt 50 grand. And not get a job at the end. And then go back to the college and say, hey, you know, it's been a couple of months. I haven't got a job. This education that you put me in debt 50 grand worth really didn't pay off. And I don't see how I'm going to be able to pay this debt off. So I'm going to have to get a refund. Does that make any sense? Not really. 